Hey, Elevens. Uh, I know we just finished talking about Carnival Mass, but I actually wanted to give an example uh, as we go through this exercise. It's a really good idea to be able to apply uh, apply the understanding to both Carnival Maps and Venn Diagrams, and I'll explain what that means in a second. So this is question four of exercise 9e of your textbook. So exercise 9e, question four, and I'm going to go through all of question four. It's the same idea in terms of just making the kind of map and then uh, filling in the gaps from there. It's kind of like a Sudoku, just like what I was saying before. So I've got E and F, uh, which are events. So I'm going to just go ahead and write E, E dash. Actually, let's fix that up. There. I'm actually just going to write E on this side. It doesn't really make a difference, but let's just write on this side. So E and E dash, F and F dash. I'm going to draw my table in. There we go. And we should have space for our totals. Now, all of our totals, so the whole thing should add up to one. So I know that this space should be one. No matter what it is, a kind of map should always add up to one over there. So from there, I can fill in the gap. So it says the, pro, uh, the sorry, the probability of E union F is 0 0.7. If I was to draw my Venn diagram here, I've got, let's say I've got this is E and this is F. The probability of E union F, if I'm using this over here, let's color this in so I can represent it. E union F is everything over here. So that's everything on the inside, right? Everything on the inside gives me 0 0.7, just like the question says. So if everything on the inside is 0 0.7, that would mean that this on the outside is 0 0.3. Or in other words, the probability of not E intersecting with not F. And that gives me 0 0.3. So I can actually fill that in. I know that's 0 0.3 right there. And that's from that one bit of information. From there, we can fill in the other stuff. So I know the next bit is probability of E intersecting with F, which is 0 0.15. Now, E intersecting with F, I realize I'm missing a line over here. I'm going to fill that in over there. There we go. E intersecting with F, so that's where those two line up, which is 0 0.15 right there. And then I've got, finally, probability of not E, which is this row over here. So not E, the total is 0 0.55, so I'm going to write that there. So from here, it is literally just like filling in Sudoku. I know that these two values need to add up to this one over here. So I know that 0 0.14, so 0 0.45 adds up to 0, uh, with 0 0.55 to give me 1. I know that these two values need to add up to give me this value right there. So this one needs to be 0 0.3. And if I'm going to quickly, feel free to pause the video. I know that these two would add to give me this value over here. So that one is 0 0.6. This one needs to be 0 0.25. And this one needs to be 0 0.4. Perfect. So now we can answer our questions. Now that our Venn diagram is completed. I'm going to rub this out so that we can work on it later. Okay. So the probability of E. Well, the probability of E is just what's the total of the E row. So the E row is this one over here. So the probability of E would be 0 0.45. So 0 0.45. That's it. The probability of F is just what's the total of F. So F is this one over here, the column. So I'm working with the column. So let's look at the total of the column, which is 0 0.4. So the answer is 0 0.4. With this one over here, we've got the probability of E dash intersecting with F. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to highlight E dash and then highlight F. So E dash will be in light green. So that's this row over here. I feel like I should probably do that a bit better. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to ignore the total. The reason I'm ignoring the total is because that's not a value that's inside our uh, inside one of the parts of our diagrams. It's more so just the total that we're looking at. So we can ignore that for a second. And then I'm going to use a pink to look at F, right? So F is this column right here. So I'm going to fill that in. Now, the question says intersecting. So where do those two overlap? Well, they overlap right here, okay? 0 0.25, which means my answer is 0, oops, there we go, 0 0.25. That's it. Where do they overlap? That's the question. Now, the next one is a little bit trickier. So there's a couple of ways we can do this, and I want to actually represent it as both a kind of map and a Venn diagram. So a probability of E dash, which is, let's use our green marker. 
There we go. E dash, that's this one over here. There we go. And out, out, let's use that one there. And we'll use, that's a gross green. Let's use light blue. Light blue for F. So that's this one over here. So they're still the same values. And I'm actually going to do this over here so we can remember which one was which. Okay, too easy. So from here, now the question's asking, instead of the intersection, what is the union? The union, there's two ways we can go about this. So if I, for example, you guys can't see my, my, my hands, but if you had two cards, let's say I had two playing cards, and I told you to find the area of the playing cards, well, we would just say, add them up. But if I'm overlapping them, let's say I've got my two playing cards like this, you can just add them up and then take away whatever's overlapping. So it's the same idea. Now over here, I'm gonna add them up. So F is, oh, 0 0.4, because add those together, right? So that's 0 0.4. E dash is these two together, which gives me 0 0.55. And add them together and I take away whatever's overlapping, 0 0.25. Right, and that gives me an answer of 0 0.7. That's our answer. Now there's another way we can do it. Instead of looking at where they overlap, let's just look at what numbers are inside. So I am going to add all these values up. So 0 0.15 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.3. And that's from these values inside that box. Once again, that adds up to 0 0.7. Another way to do it is using a Venn diagram. So if I have my Venn diagram, let's draw it out again. I've got E on this side, I've got F on this side. I know that probability of E dash union F. So let's go and use my example of highlighting everything. So E dash is everything that's not E. So I'm going to, actually, I'm going to write, draw out the box as well to make it clear. There we go. So E dash is everything that's not inside the, the circle of E. So it is everything that is here. There we go. Everything, everything there. Now F is, and let's use light blue for that. F is everything inside the F circle. So it's going to be this one right here. There we go. Now it's saying the probability of E dash union F. Now you could go about and add everything up together, but that is a bit of a pain. You could add up, well, I know the union that's together, that's 0 0.15. I know that this one, F, that's not E, is 0 0.25. You can add them all up. It gets really boring. What I'm going to do instead is I know that everything in this box should add up to be 1, right? So if I just find this error that is not included in what we were saying earlier and take that away from 1, we will get our answer. Now, this is what we call E, but not F, right? E intersecting with not F, which is 0 0.3. So I'm at 0 0.3 there. And to find uh, the probability or in quotation marks area of everything else, I just say 1 minus 0 0.3, which gives me 0 0.7. Hopefully that makes it a little bit clearer. Let me know if you, have, if you have any questions, but I thought that that would be a more visual explanation. Good luck.